So yeah, I hope you're okay, mate. Uh, I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, got a bite. All right. Oh, I think we've got it on. I think we may have it on. We think. I think we do. Oh, wow. Okay, it's pulled a line. Uh, dude, I don't know how someone hooked it on jet bait. Oh yeah, because you're obviously constantly reeling on that, aren't you? That's her, 100%. Yep, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely her. Well, that's good. Well, it's only took, what, 55 minutes almost? I just got to make sure I don't get snapped now. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. I don't mind. Right, okay. I'm just uh, being very careful. Take our time. Don't want to get snapped. All right. And everyone's throwing the bout. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know, it's amazing. Isn't it? Yeah. Right, here we go. It's pulling me out just a tiny bit. Alright. 55%. Let's see. Let's go. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright, 60%. Did not push our luck too much. Because obviously we want to be able to. Uh, oh, okay. Just watch that. I guess it's fighting a bit now. Right, there we go. So, how long do you think it'll take me to get this in then? Uh, without obviously stopping. Jeez. <laughs> uh, Come on, bloody hell. Tire out. <laughs> I'll, I'll be. I'll be a bit more. Um, you know. I feel better if it was like past two hundred, like less than two hundred. Uh, took five minutes, five to ten minutes, five to six minutes, right? And I had it all the way to the top and was just starting, staring at her. She started running all the way from three hundred and twenty-eight foot and snapped him. What from the surface? What what was what was it using to um, catch it with? Was it a bait caster or was it a? Uh, I'm guessing it was a bait caster, right? If it was on the surface, must be. Oh, the bottom rod. Okay, mate. Are you in about the graduation rod? Are you? The graduation on the uh, pure champion reel. Um, I think. Um, that, I think that's what you mean. The bottom rod. Hmm. Oh, Cetro del Rey. Oh, the oh the um the the Spanish the Spain rod, the best um, bottom feeder rod. Yeah, I'm surprised they upgrade that. You know, like if this fish is like a hundred and what twenty nine pound, I would surprised that they won't like make a stronger one, like maybe a ninety pound bottom feeder rod, because that's what is that sixty six pound in it. It can take up to the line on the Spanish bottom feeder. Uh, right. Tiring out. Tiring out. That's, that's a good sign. Yeah, I've been, I can't believe I've been waiting for these legendaries for ages. Well, everyone else has been, so. Oh, don't you dare do this to me. It's pulling me out again. Nope. Where are you going? God, if this was real life, this would be snapped by now. Because look at the boat look. <laughs> well, you have to use braided. Yeah, definitely. Braided don't, doesn't stretch in real life as well. So I've got loads of braided down here. Down where my uh, real one that is. Because um, Flora, you don't have that much. Like, yeah. Flo Do you know what? Flora is not... Is stronger than um, mono. Um, it, it does stretch, but not as much as mono does. And uh, obviously, fluoro is a lot more invisible in the water if you use that as a line. But it wears out a lot quicker. That's the thing, you see. Once it's been in the water a while, if you can, you could only probably use the same line after maybe three or four times when you go fishing. Because it goes brittle after a while, in real life. 
Um, yeah, it, it'll do a second run, right? Okay. Lower your drag a bit, it might snap. Snap. Uh, right, here we go. Back to 50% again. Yeah, I'm aware of that spider. <laughs> Thanks for pointing it out. <laughs> Uh, so that's chat to escape twice. And look at the angle. This is going to be a weird video. I might apologize if you're watching this as a YouTube video because we're streaming this at the current moment on YouTube. And the angle is a bit weird, but I can't help that. It's the fish. <laughs> this will be a tomorrow's video for sure. So. Um. I'll probably end up streaming again tomorrow, by the way. Just a heads up to our audience, our community. Um, because I want to get that rock bass. Spider, when does that tournament finish again? Is it? It's Sunday at 1 p.m. my time, isn't it? In your own time zone, 1 p.m. on Sunday. I think you said Sunday. Hopefully, it's because I need that rock bass. Three out of four use, three out of four fish caught, I mean. Uh, what you using? Ninety nine pounds? Like, yeah, ninety nine pounds. Yeah. Uh, Spider says yes. Sunday, okay, mate. Uh, but yeah, yes, overall, mate, ninety nine pounds. And here we go. This legendary catfish, Karu Mermaid. Look at it, one hundred and twenty nine pounds. Crazy. Right. Screenshot. How the hell am I supposed to get that as a video, uh, uh, as a thumbnail? All right, there we go. <laughs> That's great. Look at it. Look at its mouth. I bet that could fit me in there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that's the that's the two legendaries out of the three on the South Africa done. Uh. Okay. So the equipment that I used is, I used a bait caster. It's daytime, obviously. 99 pound uh, line braided. Uh, I used a three art hook because I didn't have a four art hook and obviously worm. And the location on the map for, for this location for this fish, obviously it's gonna change next time for this one, is here. So yeah, I hope that helps.